Well, for Wednesday, November 15th, 2023, hold on to your hats. Do you believe this? The uh, state that I'm from, Michigan, I actually worked and lived in Dearborn uh, and had family in Dearborn Heights, has done something uh, pro-Palestinian. They took their welcome to Dearborn sign and uh, they applied Palestinian flags to the Welcome to Dearborn Heights sign. Let me show you this article. Hopefully I can bring it into focus. Michigan City displaying Palestinian flags on Welcome sign, a show of solidarity. Um, I wonder if I can pull this down. I'm trying a new format here. Let me go to it uh, where I can just read it to you this way, and hopefully it will work. Um, our local government owned sign. Let's look at that sign again. You see the, the uh, Dearborn Heights, the uh, uh, Palestinian flags in Michigan, but that's not all that's happening in Michigan, so stay tuned here. <clears throat> A local government owned sign welcoming people into the city of Dearborn Heights, Michigan, was adorned with Palestinian flags yesterday, Tuesday. Right while in Washington, D.C., they had the solidarity uh, with all of the uh, supporters of Israel, the rally, the Israeli rally. Um, Dearborn Heights, a city 20 miles west of downtown Detroit, sits adjacent to Dearborn. Now, Dearborn is the most highly populated Muslim community in all of the United States. A Muslim majority city, however, unlike its neighbor of a similar name, Dearborn Heights, where the sign is, has a mostly white population, 84% as of 2021. This morning, in another show of solidarity, Pal Palestinian flags were placed on the Welcome to Dearborn Heights sign along Ford Road highlighting the city's support for the people of Palestine. Dearborn's TCD News posted, and there's more to this, and uh, they um, talking about uh, Hamas, and uh, it's just uh, ridiculous, the things that are going on. Let me see if I can bring this back up. It's just ridiculous, the things that are taking place within my state, Michigan. Do you believe that in Michigan? Now for the latest, Joe Biden and company are flying into Metro Detroit Airport. They're flying Palestinian refugees into Michigan. I repeat, the money that's being sent to give aid to Israel, they're flying Palestinian refugees into the great state or used to be great state of Michigan. You know, Michigan, the home of Rashida Tlaib and Gretchen Whitmer. Can't make this stuff up. Pray for the peace of Israel. Pray for the land of Israel.